Hi, welcome everyone. I am so excited. We finally got our chicks and we wanted to share them with you guys and talk about them and basic setup and basic care and see if I can identify which ones are which. So let me show you what we got going here. So we got them about two weeks ago from Hatchery and they're in this clear tub over here. And if anyone knows how chicken math goes, we intended to get three babies and then we got four and we got five and we ended up getting eight baby chicks. So, and we just get chicks for their eggs. We don't get meat birds. So if you're someone who wants to do meat birds, that's great. Um, we just like them for their eggs and because they're beautiful and we like to watch them interact and scratch around the yard and eat all the bugs and we love them. So these are our new chicks for this, well, for now, for the season, but till they live out their life. So basically in this little tub right here is their tub that they started out in. And now it's been about two weeks that we've had them. So they are getting outgrown for this tub. And now I'm going to move them in this bigger blue tub. And basic chick care. You need to make sure they have fresh bedding. Let me turn this off. So you need to make sure they have fresh bedding, which we just use this. Um, the pine bedding is best, and we're by no means experts on this whole situation, but I've watched a lot of videos and done research, and this is what works best for us. So this is going to be their new little container for now. So you want to put down a good layer of the pine bedding because baby chicks are super messy. And you want to make sure and keep it clean, clean it out every couple days. This little bag right here comes really compacted, so kind of have to ruffle it up to kind of get some of the bedding out of here. And the baby chicks have to stay warm under the heat lamp and either inside or in your garage or somewhere for a couple weeks until they get fully feathered kind of in the teenager stage where they get more of their adult feathers coming in because otherwise the cold, if they're not protected, the cold can definitely kill them. So I'm gonna do about inch and a half, two inches of this bedding and they will make a mess. They'll fluff it all around. They're going to compact it down. All right, let's try to move them over and show you what we got. So I have our nifty little list here. We end up getting, ended up getting three Americanas, which are also called Easter Eggers. And they lay mostly green eggs, but they can lay green, blue, or even a pink colored egg. So, and a lot of that depends on what, um, what they're fed, but typically with their normal diet, they're gonna lay like a light greenish colored egg. So, let me show you these babies. Come here, baby. So this one, this is one of the Easter Eggers Americanas. These guys are just, let's see, today's Thursday. They're about two and a half weeks old. And you can see their little puffy cheeks. 
Super cute how their little cheeks puff out right here on the sides. So that's one uh, way to tell their breed. When they're little, it's really hard to tell, but I wanted to show you guys the colors and what they look like right now. So this one is kind of a gray. It's also called like a, a lavender. And these got, this is, like I said, one of the Americanas. Put them in the new place. This is another one. Now we got um, these Americanas, even though they're all the same breed, they're all gonna look completely different. So we won't know what they're gonna look like until they're older. So here's another one. You can see it's little puppy cheeks as well. And show you the color of her wings. Now these are all females. And so you can get the females once they get older, about five or six months old, then they will start laying. And you don't need a male chicken or a rooster to get eggs. The females will lay on their own. If you did have a rooster, then your eggs will be fertilized. Some people don't mind eating fertilized eggs. We just, well, number one, we don't want a rooster in our neighborhood because it could cause issues because we do live in an urban area. But number two, we just um, don't want to eat fertilized eggs or have to keep the rooster separate or anything like that. So we have females or hens. Okay. And the third one. This is the third Easter Egger or Americana. It's kind of also a lavender color. Really pretty. I can't wait to see what they're gonna look like when they get a little older with the little puffy cheeks. Now this, the lighter colored one, the second baby that I showed you guys, sometimes when the chicks are teeny tiny babies, when you get them, from wherever you get them, um, that little second one I showed you had a really like poopy butt. So you can give your chicken a bath. You just have to be careful to keep them warm. So I did have to give that little baby a bath two or three times and get all of the poop off of her butt. And then also we gave her, we gave all the chicks, you can get this little um, like electrolyte and probiotic little packs from your local feed store or wherever. Um, and we did give them this electrolyte and probiotic in their water for all of them for the first week. And that really helped. Also another thing that's important with chicks through their whole life, but also as babies is the diatomaceous earth and it's really cheap. And this really helps keep them healthy. And it also helps with any worms or parasites that they might get or they got when you got them. So, and this is really easy. You just, you can sprinkle it in their bedding or you can sprinkle it and mix it in their food. So as long as they're pecking at it and eating it, it's gonna get in their system and it's gonna help their gut feel better. And it really cured up that little baby's poopy bottom. The other thing is a good, we feed them this as their um, chick starter. We do the non-medicated formula. They do offer both, but we do the non-medicated. Another really important thing that you should have for your babies is this. It's called chick grit. It's basically just teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny rocks and pebbles because... Your chicks need those to be able to, it goes down, the chickens have a crop, and so the uh, the grit goes, they eat the grit with their food, it goes into their crop, and then they grind it up 
it grinds up in there. The little rocks grind up the food and makes it so they can eat and process their food. All right, let's finish this up. So the next one we got, we got a Brahma. And so Brahma is gonna be bigger when she reaches an adult. She's gonna be bigger than all the other chicks. And already she is getting a little bigger. And we're excited about this one. She's gonna be all white. Oh no, some white with different colors. You could see the color of she bright that way. Color of her wings. And she's, <laughs> hey, let me know. I'm doing a live video. <laughs> and she's gonna have fluffy feet, and you can see the fluffy feet already. And they're gonna it's gonna be so cute. And then the other one we got is this one is called a Danish brown leghorn. So we got a Danish brown, and this one is a week older than the rest of the chicks, just because that's what they had. So she's a little bit bigger, but the other ones are quickly catching up. And the last three honestly look very much the same. So I'll show you guys, but not exactly sure which ones are which. So this one, really cute, has some yellow and black speckled on it. And this one, kind of looks the same as the other one, kind of same coloring. And then this last one, I think, is the black. Come here. I think this one is the black astralor. So this one's going to be all black with some white speckles when it gets grown. So, all right, just make sure your babies have fresh food and water and keep an eye out for any diarrhea or anything. You shouldn't see any poop on their butt should be nice and clean and make sure they're eating and drinking and we're so excited so we can't wait to keep you guys updated thanks for watching like and subscribe <sighs> yeah